Uh, good morning, my dear students of intermediate second year. You are uh, uh, somewhat tensed because your city exam is knocking at the door. You are thinking about the question pattern. And uh, today I am here with a flowchart 2. Uh, as I had my first class on flowchart 1, I talked about uh, the facilities provided by public universities. Today I will talk about another flowchart. But today's class is not only important for flowchart. It is also important for other questions because today I will talk about a very, very important passage. You can say the most important passage of your English for today. And uh, this passage is given for question number one, for question number two, and for question number three. This why, this is why we are going to take a diff a more time, take more time on understanding this passage. Look at the slide there is written today's discussion on flowchart two. That is, this is the two second class of flowchart. That's why I have written flowchart two. A passage taken from unit 12, lesson 5. Unit 12, lesson 5. The students look at please. Uh, this is the question. Read the following text. That is, you will give, you will get a text and make a flowchart by showing the objectives or goals or targets of peace movement. So, today's flowchart is about the objectives or goals or targets of peace movement. Okay? Dear students, this is a tough lesson. And as far as I can remember, I, I, um, I taught you this passage in the classroom. And uh, as you have passed a lot of t t uh, days or months, uh, most of you have forgotten. That's why I'd like to uh, restart this passage. What is the flowchart about? This flowchart is about the objectives or goals or targets of this movement. Let us read the whole passage and inside this passage, we will get the goals or targets of this movement. So, this is the question. And what should you do? You should write the headline. A flowchart. Showing. Objectives. Our goals. Our targets is this is the headline. Now we are going to we are going to learn the whole passage. This para this passage has two paragraphs. This is the first paragraph. That's why the headline is there. First paragraph of the passage. Dear students, I want you to learn with me. I want to uh, make you understand the passage. And inside this paragraph, inside this paragraph, there are five targets of peace movement that we are looking for. We are looking for the targets or goals or uh, 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 targets or goals or objectives of peace movement. The, in this first paragraph. I think we have five objectives. Let us try to find out the objectives of peace movement from this first paragraph. According to the first paragraph, a peace movement is social movement. Okay, a peace movement is a, a peace movement it's called a social movement. A peace movement is a social movement. It seeks. It seeks, that means it looks for. It looks for some ideals. You can say ends. You can say goals. You can say objectives. You can say 
targets. So, a piece movement six, some ideals or ends or goals or objectives of targets. These five words can be similar, okay? A piece movement, by, by virtue of piece movement, we can achieve ideals or ends or goals or objectives or targets. And what are the targets? What are the ideals? What are the goals? Achieve some ideals such as, so what is the first ideal? What is the first objective? What is the first target of this movement? The end of a particular war. The ending of a The ending of a particular war. I think I should read it, write it clearly so that you can understand. What is the first one? The first target of peace movement is to end a particular war or wars. The ending of a particular word are all words okay this is the first ideal here ideal means objectives or aim or target or goal okay or all words minimize interview violence there is violence between human being or among human being the target of peace movement is to minimize or decrease a lesion so i can say mini minimization of interhuman violence dear students i have started with the ending here ending is a noun i can say we are we are looking for we are looking for the targets of peace movement i can say end of a particular war or all wars minimization of interhuman violence this is one of the most important targets of peace movement another one so we have to reduce, we have to lessen, we have to reduce, we have to lessen interhuman violence in a particular place or type of situation, including ban of guns. Uh, peace movement wants the ban of guns. So I can say another target of peace movement is ban of guns. Dear students, another target of peace movement is ban of guns. Okay. It will be three. We have already got three objectives or goals of peace movement by which uh, these objectives are expected to be crowned with by virtue of peace movement. Another one is is often linked. Is often linked. Is is the verb of the sentence, and the subject of this is is a peace movement. Can I say? A peace movement is often linked to the goal of achieving world peace. Peace movement is peace movement is working for the achievement of world peace. So, our ultimate target, our actual target of peace movement, is to ensure the world peace. So that's why I can say, I that's why I can say, at four, we can write. Achievement of world peace. Achievement of world peace. This is the another, this is another target of peace movement. Look at end of a particular word was the first, is the first target. Second one, minimization of interhuman violence. Third one, ban of guns. Fourth one, achievement of world peace. Okay. 
dear students we have already got we have already found four objectives or goals or targets of peace movement these objectives these objectives can be obtained or gained by some ways there are some ways by which we can we can achieve these goals look at means to achieve these ends here means means ways here means means ways here ends means targets there are some ways there are some ways by which you can achieve these ends that end means these goals or targets what are the ways by which we can achieve these ends or goals or aims or objectives or ideals look at the first one is advocacy of pacifism number two non-violent resistance number three diplomacy number four boycotts number five demonstrations number six peace camps number seven supporting anti-war political candidates and banning guns then creating open government direct democracy supporting people who expose war crimes or conspiracies create wars and making laws here we have got 11 ways or 11 means that help us to achieve the goals related to peace movement these are our ways some of the students make mistakes in flowchart by by regarding these ways as targets or goals my dear students of intermediate second year don't forget that these are the ways these are the ways these are the means these are not the targets of peace movement these are the ways by which you can achieve the ideals or goals or targets of peace movement different organization involved in peace movements may have diverse goals diverse look at the word diverse diverse in bengali it's called boichitra purno in bengali it's called boichitra purno and diverse as a synonym and that is varied you can say varied uh, throughout the world that means all over the world there are different organizations working for peace that means there are different peace organizations and they are working for ensuring peace all over the world i'm going to repeat there are different various or you can say there are different or various peace organizations all over the world all of them are trying to ensure peace all over the world but in order to ensure peace different organizations maintain different objectives different organizations maintain different objectives different organizations involved in peace movement have different targets or goals or objectives but one goal is common to all all the organizations involved in peace movement have one common goal all the organizations are expecting to ensure one goal and that is sustainability of peace that means peace organizations are expecting to ensure sustainable peace okay that's why we can write sustainability of peace okay we have got five answers but how many boxes do we have we have six boxes we have to fill in six boxes with six targets or goals or 
uh, aims of this movement we have got five we are looking for another one and we have already we have already finished the first paragraph we have another paragraph look at excuse me Radesh. it has been stuck thank you thank you okay i will do it this is the second paragraph this is the second paragraph of the passage this movement is basically an all encompassing anti war movement this movement is basically an all encompassing anti war movement what does it mean nowadays this movement is wholly or entirely an anti war movement so up to this part we have got three information about this movement a peace movement two information sorry a peace movement is a social movement I can say a peace movement is an anti-war movement. That's why we can combine a peace movement is not only a social movement but also an anti-war movement. Peace organizations all over the world, peace organizations all over the world are working against war. If we can, by hook or by crook, can stop war we can definitely say that we have the possibility to ensure peace because what is the antonym of peace the antonym of peace is war in other words I can say the antonym of war is peace if you can if we can stop war that means we will get peace to stop war is to get peace. To stop war is similar to get peace. In other words, I can say to, a, to stop war is to ensure peace. That's why we can say peace movement is basically an all-encompassing entire movement. It is primarily characterized by a belief that throughout the world human beings are fighting with one another human beings are involved in different violent activities throughout the world man has a tendency human beings most of the human beings have a tendency to get themselves involved in violent activities and for this reason there are some issues these issues can be language race natural resources religion and ideology depending on these issues human beings very often get themselves involved in violent activities but peace movement doesn't support it peace movement believes that peace movement is embodied on a belief or you can say is dependent on a belief or you can say characterized on a belief or you can say by a belief and what is the belief we should not we human beings should not waste or you can say involved in any war or violent activities over language race natural resources religion and ideology it is believed that military power is not the equivalent of justice what does it mean dear students it is believed that military power is not the equivalent of justice i can say that with military power it is not possible to ensure peace with military power with military power we are not able to ensure peace that's why we can say military power is not the equivalent of justice if you think that with guns with weapons or with military power you will ensure peace in a certain place it is totally wrong the peace movement tends to oppose tends to oppose the proliferation of dangerous technologies and weapons of mass destruction in particular nuclear weapons and biological warfare that means uh, peace movement has a tendency peace movement has a tendency to oppose to protest the proliferation proliferation means expansion 
Peace movement has a tendency to oppose or protest the proliferation of dangerous technologies and weapons of mass destruction, in particular nuclear weapons and biological warfare. I am going to repeat with peace movement. Peace movement doesn't want that, doesn't want that uh, dangerous technologies or nuclear uh, dangerous technologies or weapons of mass destruction must not be expanded, must not be proliferated. Okay. If dangerous technologies and weapons are expanded, the weaker nations or the nations, those who will get these weapons will try to destroy the peace of a certain region or place. So there's a tendency. This is an important line. Can I say at say, six? Another objective of peace movement is stoppage of the proliferation of dangerous technologies and weapons okay and there is another target moreover many object to the export of weapons uh, including handle machine guns and grenades by leading equipment to laser developed nation uh, we can say objection to export of weapons including handle machine guns and grenades by leading equipment nations to laser developed nations if the industrially developed countries, if the economically developed countries doesn't export handheld machine gun or grenades to a leisure economically developed countries, I think peace will be ensured. Okay. So I can say objection to export of weapons. Okay. There is another objective of peace movement. So up to this part, we have got up to this part, we have got seven targets or a peace movement. Now, we need to write a flowchart, okay, with the rules and regulations. I told you that. So now, I'd like to draw the boxes with the answer. And you have already got the answer, dear students. I'm going to draw boxes with answer. I, I'd like to draw the boxes and inside each of the boxes there would be the answer that we have already learned. Uh, this headline should be written in blue color. Now the first box. Thank you. End of war. This is the first, this is the first option. And this option will be given, you know that. The second one. Two. Uh, we have to start with capital letter. Minimization, minimization of interhibit minimization of interim and violence. Okay, now number three, box number three. I can say ban of guns, 
आई कैन से बैन ऑफ गन्स नंबर फोर achievement of wall piece number 5 sustainability of piece number 6 you can say stop is of the proliferation stop is of the proliferation of perilous perilous means dangerous technologies weapons okay each of the boxes should be is of similar size dear student each of the boxes would be of similar size i have drawn i have drawn six boxes inside six box there are six answers don't forget to use arrow don't forget to use arrow if you don't use arrow you will get zero out of 10 okay dear students there are some rules and regulations that you need to follow you are requested to give numbering inside the box okay inside the box uh you are requested to use capital letter capital 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 and capital you are requested not to put any full stop you are requested not to put any full stop after any answer inside the box because uh you know that you have come to know that the answer of flow chart the answer of flow chart should be phrase based phrase based answer should be taken if any student if any student writes any answer depending on a certain sentence he or she will get a big zero for that that's why you are requested you are not allowed do i shouldn't say uh, requested you are not allowed to use any kind of sentence uh, rather you should write phrases and what should what kind of phrase you should follow will be determined by the subject matter of the flow chart the objectives or goals or targets of this movement should be a uh, dependent on noun phrase that's why i have written noun phrase end of end of sorry it would be end of end of a war or all words minimization it's a noun then noun phrase noun phrase noun phrase noun phrase you have to select the phrase at this phrase must be must be relevant to the subject matter of the flow chart so my dear students try to draw these boxes with pencils and try to write the answer with pen and try not to use any kind of sentences try to use phrases and don't give any full stop don't give any full stop because a phrase is not of complete sentence this to a phrase is not a complete sentence up to this part we have given you some rules and regulations of flow chart writing i'm going to repeat uh, it is better to start with a headline 
and this head drawing should be written in blue color. You have to draw six boxes. Each of the boxes will be of similar size. You are, you are requested to start with capital letter and uh, don't put any full stop at the end of phrases. And the students, the most important factor, don't use any sentences because uh, you are requested to write down the phrases. You are requested to write down the key notes or notes or you can say short notes. You have to give me some points, and this point should be dependent on phrases. So, by the students of second year, you are going to have your uh, city exam, uh, city exam one, uh, very soon. And I want you to go through the passages of unit one and two, and in a, a lesson, a lesson one, two, and three under unit one uh, are very important, and. Uh, Try to try to understand the important words of the uh, try to uh, try to understand the important words in the passages of lesson one, two, and three under unit one because uh, questions will be based on synonym, antonym, identification of parts of species, and change of words into different parts of species. So, my dear students, uh, it has been a short class today. Uh, I would like to start with another topic in my next class. And uh, don't forget to don't forget to take preparation on vocabulary and identification of parts of a piece. Even there will be uh, fill in the blanks with uh, with clues. I can or we can with the teachers can give you a sentence and in the sentence there will be a word word missing and you have to look for those words and the sentences will be taken from your EFT book that is the, the questions will be dependent on your syllabus for ct1 so my dear students this is all for today i'd like to invite you to my next class that will be held after your ct1 thank you goodbye